face. And for the adhesive to dry on the ears. And you know they're dry when you can touch them and you don't get any adhesive on your fingers. It's beneficial to you to have both dry before you apply the two. This is being a good little girl. Now it's best with you facing the dog that you apply the brace. And sing to the dog and do all these wondrous things to keep the dog occupied while somebody else is putting the brace on, perhaps. All right, now we are doing just like you see. We simply press the brace into the ear, keeping the end of the brace quarter inch from the little lobe in the ear. We don't want it to touch the lobe. Now you see the youngster doesn't mind the brace because she's had no bad experiences. And bad experiences, we're going to see some bad experiences further on. We've been asked a number of times about ear cropping and not ear cropping and the pros and cons and we're going to put this on so we all have an argument when somebody debates whether we're cruel to our dog by having the ears cropped. All right, now that you have the brace in place, you're going to put a cro what we call a cross tape on. You'll be applying this at the base of the ears, pulling the ears in just a little bit to pick up on the natural stance you'd like to achieve in the end. You'll uh, get a better view of this when we turn the dog around and look at it from different angles. Oh, she's getting a little antsy. But she is a baby. This little girl, by the way, is 11 weeks old. Well, now see how the ears look? If we could imagine the ears now without the brace, we'd have achieved the stance we're trying to, to encourage. Now we apply this little piece of tape on the back side to cover the front adhesive tape. We don't put any adhe uh, adhesive itself on the hair side of the ear. Now, we have another feature. Periodically, you have a little dog that likes to get itself hung up on some of the strangest things. Like you can't find it and it's stuck behind the john in the bathroom with its brace on the valve or the door handle or the low branch out in the yard. To uh, prevent this, if you happen to have a dog that seems to get into things, You'll get some masking tape and lightly fill in the space above the cross tape, watching that you do not let the masking tape touch the top of the head. We're trying to prevent paper cuts. Now we fold over the masking tape over the little bar. We're going to put another small piece on the back again just to cover the the glue from the other side. All right, just like that. And just like magic, we have sandwiched this brace in a little bit more without adding a lot of weight. You do not want to add a lot of weight. Now, at worst, this little dog's ears itch a little bit while that adhesive is drying. But there is no discomfort of any type to the brace. And a few minutes after the adhesive is finished drying, she'll run around just like those little dogs you saw. They don't even remember it's up there. Now again, this is when we are starting sometime after surgery. All right, now, a lot of you 
Never heard of the quick brace. Your vet didn't use it, the breeder didn't use it. Some veterinarians and some breeders just refuse to try anything new. Unfortunately, they'll even refuse when you present it to them as a gift, which we'll mention a case further on. But there is no age limit. The age, the limit is dependent on your patience and your willingness to work with your dog. Now the braces for this boy, he's going on six months of age. Are a little larger version than what we saw applied to the earlier pup. And if we backstep even further than that, a smaller system was used on that pup immediately following surgery before she left the operating room. Again, we apply it the same way. We are putting the braces on with less time than we want you to wait in between application and pressing the brace in because if we sat around waiting three extra minutes on each dope that we've applied a system on in this video, it would be an extra half hour long. Remember, two to three minutes, and you do the same thing with the older dog. A little cross tape. And we put on the back side a small piece of tape to cover the open adhesive so we don't pick up a lot of things. And see, so you can press the brace like that. That's also how you slide the collar onto the dog. Just fold the brace forward. And just like magic, do you notice him move, pull his ears upright? In the end, there he is. One handsome young dude. Now that blue dog took 35 days of continual bracing to break the pattern. Here's a little girl, took a lot longer, but watch her ears. Now typically a breeder or surgeon is going to say, well, the dog has broken ears. But in effect, what you're looking at is the natural crease. If we'd have left the dog's ears long, that is exactly the point the ears hinge down. So it isn't a case that one dog's ears are broken. It's very rare that there is a genetic weakness in an ear, but that's possible. But the odds are so outrageous, it's not a good excuse when a dog's ear doesn't stand. Again, we repeat the process we've been following. Apply the adhesive, let it dry, apply the brace, put the cross tape in. And see, she's being a good girl. There is an advantage when you have a trained dog that's also well behaved. Again, this is the oldest one you'll see on this tape being uh, worked with, but we regularly work with dogs in the area of seven to 12 months, and the dog can be older if you will work with the dog. The dog cannot put the brace on itself, can't even pick out the brace it likes. And there's a lot of variables to how people do this. Let's watch her ears. Watch her ears work. Let's see if we can get them there. She lifts her ears up at alert. We'll get a better shot here in a minute. We've got somebody jumping around like an crazy behind the camera trying to get her attention. Watch her ears. Up, down, up. She can pull them high enough to lift them off their head. And there we go, just like magic. In fact, that was her name. That was magic. Uh, again, it took a while to get her ears up, but nevertheless, they went up. Now, we have another area. Here's a dog with her ears up, but she has what we call an overcoat.